in one game, but what type of impact has Vaughn been able to make in the locker room and just you know, how you guys have been performing on, you know, given what happened in week one? Yeah, I think anytime you get a player to that caliber, um, you know, players are just going to automatically, you know, respect them. You know what I mean? And obviously we know what he's done on the field, but just getting around him and seeing what type of person he is off the field, um, you know, makes us respect him, what makes me respect him even more. And uh, he's been a great leader, man. And, you know, he's been giving knowledge th through the team. You know, you don't always get that from older guys, man. So, you know, just being a player to his caliber, being able just to give back to us and, you know, just tell us little things here and there that's going to help our game out means a lot. Jermaine, you guys don't blitz. What does it mean for you and your other teammates to get that in that position? Sorry, say it again? When you guys don't blitz in a game, what does it do for you as a linebacker in that one? Or how does it make you a little bit Uh... I mean, you know, it's just more opportunities, I guess, to make plays on the ball as far as, you know, PBUs and picks and stuff like that. Um, you know, obviously, you know, just being a player, obviously, you know, you want to do those things. And, um, you know, but I think, you know, we have a good scheme. And also, um, like I said, it just gives us opportunities to make plays on the ball and um, being able to, you know, just disrupt, you know, quarterback vision or whatever it may be, uh, just being effective and, and being factors with, you know, balls down the field. What's it like to hold ball? Yeah, I definitely saw it, man. I think there's a lot of confidence throughout that whole, you know, D-line group. Um, you know, I think they all make each other better, you know, each each day coming out of practice um, and just leaning on those older guys. Uh, I think each one of them are pushing each other just to make more and more plays. And I um, mean, when you have that going through the room, that positive energy going through the room, that competitiveness going through the room, it just elevates everybody's game. What's it like to meet Derek Henry in the hole? <laughs> I mean, it's good, man. Obviously, you know, it's a challenge, man. He's a big guy. But, uh, you know, we've been doing a good job this, throughout this week, you know, uh, practicing how we how we preparing to play. He's different than any running back, really, with the size and power and speed that he has. Right. You're a big guy. You're a tall guy, but you don't get many running backs that even kind of approach that, right? I mean, he's a big dude. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> I guess I just wanted to go back there. It's kind of like the, the mental, I guess, the mental aspect of knowing that's coming. I mean, you do it, but what, what's it like to kind of prepare for that versus smaller guys and things like that? Yeah, it's just about going into the game with the right tackling plan, um, and that's just the stuff that we do out throughout the week as far as tackling drills and uh, things that, you know, coach put emphasis on. So, you know, as long as we do the things that we practice, you know, um, we have a good plan going into the game. What do you expect about the atmosphere Monday night, the home opener, a lot of hype around this team. What are you expecting out there from the fans? Yeah, I know it's going to be crazy, man. Bills Mafia always show up. And, uh, you know, Monday night here, it's going to be amazing. I can just, you know, imagine the energy out there. And, um, you know, I know they're going to show up, man, because they show up every time, whether we're home or away. You know, it's best fans in the, in the, in the, in the, in the world, man. So. It's just like, you know, we just got to take that momentum, man, and, you know, stay stay confident in our work. You know, we, we prepare right and uh, just go out there and execute well. With uh, Ed Oliver and Tim Settle banged up, I mean, how much more pressure does that put on you guys if, if they're not able to play when you're facing a team that really get, likes to get after it up front? Yeah, I'm confident in the guys that, you know, we have coming in, you know, filling in in those roles. Uh, we, you know, those guys have been working hard to, you know, fight themselves back to get back on the field. Um, guys that may have to step up and play in that role has been fighting their tails off to, you know, being being available and playing at a high level. So, um, you know, we have a lot of talented guys here, man. And, you know, I got confidence in the guys that's, you know, going to step in and, you know, help those guys out and fill in for them since they're hurt. But, you know, those guys are fighting their tails off to get back on the field and help the team out. Uh, like I said, it's just having the right tackling plan. Um, you know, obviously, player to player, that may change. Just having your own plan and, you know, practicing your plan throughout practice. Anytime you get an opportunity to wrap up the running back or, you know, just things in general, putting yourself in position to make the play. Um, I think each person may have a different plan. So, you know, my plan may be different from somebody else's plan. But I think just as long as you have a plan going into it, um, you know, to put yourself in the best position to make the play. 
populate a lot when it populates in the football game. Population is that like a big key to hey, because this guy he's so big, got it, he hats on the ball basically. Everybody's got to rally. Yeah, exactly. You know, uh, we try to limit ourselves to you know one-on-one -on -one tackles, you know, just getting population to the football and, you know, multiple guys to the football. Obviously, when you're playing a back to this caliber, it's um, always going to be, you know, a, a point of emphasis.